Okay, it's a couple days in here. I have now uh, started working on my, uh, uh, you know, saw horses or whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is the before video. Here's what we've got going. Uh, I got the chassis out finally. If you look here, at all, that's a six volt starter. It's gonna have to go. Uh, I have the, look at all this grime. That's from 1965, okay. Red wheels will have to go. Floor pans will get cut out and replaced. Uh, let's see, look at this grime. So hopefully, it looks like the front beam is good. It looks like everything is straight. Uh, I'll replace the single with a dual master cylinder there for safety purposes. I replaced the whole emergency brake setup because that's only like 40 bucks or something. Now look at that. And now, what I've got is I, I've made my stand, and here is the beetle on the stand. It's the rolly stand. So I can, I can roll it around. I have locks on the, cat, on the uh, wheels. And so I didn't uh, take everything off quite yet, but anyway, that's the before, and I'm gonna run the power washer now and see what happens. All right, I've been working on the Beetle. Um, I got the, um, you know, I got the chassis um, out and I got the body up on the rolly stand. I built these um, stands and they roll around in the wheels lock, which is really useful. So um, what I've done now is I took off the deck lid and I also took off the hood and I was just trying to give myself a little bit of a idea what this was, gonna look like so what I'm actually doing so I have this split bus which is Lotus white and I've just decided I'm gonna make the beetle just a twin so it's gonna be Lotus white also with black and the 65 also has the exact same uh, dome uh, dome hubcaps in 66 I think they went to the flat ones um, so what I did is I cleaned off just a massive amount of gunk on the deck lid deck lid was good um, and I painted it lotus white I don't have a clear coat on it yet so it's not shiny um, but I have the uh, I said the deck lid here is um, painted I was just kind of sloppy and I let my overspray just get on the chassis but I've, I've got to uh, uh, clean this all up and uh, paint that and I have to do uh, you know, paint the wheels, paint, I have to paint everything, so I'm gonna have to scrub that down anyway. Um, but then I have my uh, license plate cover here. Uh, I took the little light mechanism out and it's upstairs and I'm, I painted this. It looks all really nice. I, I'm gonna um, spray some clear coat on it and see if I can do a better job than I, than I did on the bus. The bus still looks kind of matte and has a little bit of a texture orange peel. Um, uh, the other stuff, let's see, I've, uh, you know, I have my floor pans over there. They're waiting to go in here. Um, what I have to do is really chop out all of this, um, you know, from my old rusted out floor pans here. I've got to chop all this out um, so that it looks like this so that I can actually fit the um, floor pans on there. And, uh, you know, I still have to just keep progressing and uh, cleaning up this chassis first and then I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to uh, repair this body or, um, or I'm going to look for a new body. Um, what I've done is, you know, I have the matching numbers uh, as far as the um, the VIN on the, on the chassis and my plate here, which I uh, drilled the rivets out because over here, this is completely rusted out so I, I took this off because I'm going to make sure that whatever I put in I'm going to make sure that this plate is on there so I have matching numbers still with the body and the chassis and that's pretty much it you know I have this stabilized so if I look at this I took out the first heater channel here that's why there's this big gap and this uh, seems to hold it pretty well I did a very kind of a weak frame here um, but yeah, this needs quite a bit. It needs the channels. It needs the, um, you know, luggage or whatever you call this behind the rear seat um, redone. So I'm gonna have to buy a bunch of sheet metal 
and uh, you know just see if I can uh, if I can get this get this going. I also took off the um, I took off my um, glove box um, cover, and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with these. I'm just going to start sort of randomly painting things lotus white because in the end everything will be lotus white. Um, all right, that's the progress. All right, well, I just uh, ground off all of the metal required to fit the two new floor pans. So I haven't uh, made the holes yet, but I've got this fitted in. This fits in there pretty good. Here, this fits in pretty good. The overlap is good. Um, back here, you know, I probably will have to put in a sheet metal screw and just kind of try to pin that down while I do the welding um, but it slides in pretty good here um, it confused me because these floor pans had these um, angles already on there with the screw holes so I had the, the underneath one which was which was there and I was trying to put it on top of it and <clears throat> I realized that it actually just has to span from here to this thing that's right under the that's being supported here by the by the chassis but on this side you know this all looks pretty good fits in there pretty good uh, again I'll scoot that I'll kind of hammer that in there a little bit and, uh, and then I'll spot weld it and this all fits really well so uh, that is the, the next step there with the floor pans um, just to show the progress i went ahead and i'm kind of multitasking here so i i took out a pretty rusty glove box and uh, sanded it down and painted it lotus white and uh i just wanted to show the the deck lid which uh let's see i hope it turned out well let's see it's hanging in here uh so it looks good. Uh, I'm just gonna let that cure. I did a thing where I, and I always do this, I, I paint the primer and then I let it dry. It's dry to the touch, but then I paint another coat of primer on it and I let it dry, dry to the touch, but I know I should let it like cure overnight. And then I put base coat on it a little too soon and then it dries to the touch. And then I put clear coat over top of it, but I know that the entire setup is not dry um, and so it's possible that i'm just rushing the whole painting process but who knows um hopefully it'll all cure nicely it did work out okay on the bus so um yeah that's my next step is just to get the uh, two floor pans welded in permanently and so I have some uh, weld through primer. I'm just gonna hit it with, and um, I, you know, I have to grind down and uh, put the holes in the um, floor pans and then I'll spot weld it. Or that is to say plug weld it, I guess is the name for that. So, all right. <laughs> 